Look, look, look. He's wrapping the seat. Oh my god. See, he's, he's not dumb. He's yeah. good. <laughs> Why? He's gonna wrap seaweed. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. I bought a Pilates machine and Byron doesn't want to help me put it together. So I'm going to do it myself right now. Dude. Now I have a couple more boxes. Friends, I did it. Put the handles, the pulleys, the everything. Let me add it. pretty cool it's pretty high quality I have to say I was not expecting something this legit okay even just doing that little bendy boo thing that I just did I'm very very tired also I just assembled this all by myself no thanks to Byron I asked Byron he said he's too tired after work I said I don't need you I'll do it myself Meanwhile, Byron ate another ramen while I was assembling. I just saw he's eating ramen because our factor meals are like so, they leave us so hungry. I had potato chips after I had my factor meal. Now we're gonna have wine and I'm gonna eat burrata. Straight. Like a gangsta. How do I open this? Uh. The ball of burrata. And I'm just gonna use the lid as a plate and open and mm. what's up? I bought myself a Pilates machine. Yeah. Because well, people were asking me why I did such a crazy thing because it's like $2,000 and it's not cheap and I barely touch my Peloton. But I love Pilates out of all the different workouts out there. It's the one that I choose to go to if I have time. But none of the classes that I go to have availability, not availability, like their times don't match for when I'm free. So I haven't been able to go to Pilates and now it's been like over a year since I've worked out. Probably longer. I mean, I really haven't worked out since I had Preston because I stopped working out during that pregnancy. I was like doing yoga and stuff like that. And then once he was born, I didn't work out for a long time. And then the second baby, I was um, a high risk pregnancy and they didn't want me to work out. And um, after that, I didn't really work out <laughs> so i'm not really working out at this point because i need to lose weight i just realized i have no muscles and i'm literally melting into a puddle of skin and it's just it's not good because i'm getting older and i know that 
as a woman, you are supposed to have some muscle mass to stay healthy. So I don't really expect too much of a physical difference, but I do want to start working on my leg muscles again, which I used to have a lot. I used to work out like insanely a lot. And now I'm just the average girl <laughs> struggling to work out. All right, here's day one. finished the first class. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do it two times a week is my goal for a month. I always leave these classes feeling like I didn't like really squeeze every last piece of effort. You know how like when you go to Orange Theory, it's so like high intensity the entire time that it's like such a good usage of your time for the intensity that it is. Pilates is naturally slower, but I don't know why it's so much more fun in real life with other people, but I do think that, you know, the more I do it, I don't know, I'm afraid that the more I do it, the more I'll get bored of this at-home one, but we'll see. Um, I do feel like it burning, and again, I have no muscles. Look at how flat my butt is, zero muscles, so can't hurt to do. Gotta stay healthy and strong for my baby. Hello, it is Sunday. I'm so sore. I worked out yesterday. And I'm, I, I can't even walk up the stairs. That's how out of shape I was. Monday, which is tomorrow, I think me and Byron were planning to work out in the morning, wake up early, but I don't know if I can. I am very sore. <laughs> Hopefully it feels better by tomorrow morning, you know? Went to a new program today. Hey Preston, he's been up since 6.30 in the morning playing with toys. Grandma's here, have fun this morning, baby. Sup, I am home early from work. Not early, but like it's 3.18 so I could do a quick workout so I don't have to wake, wake up early tomorrow morning to do it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Second day of La Gris. This is like what the platform looks like. And I just have to choose a class. Should I do a full body sweat sash? That sounds hard. Okay, let's do that one then. It is Saturday morning. Damn. I look like a hot mess. I don't have my lashes on. My hair looks like doo-doo because my child has decided he wants to wake up at the crack of dawn all week. And especially on a weekend. I usually wake up a little bit earlier than him and do all this stuff before he wakes up. But such was not the case today. But luckily, he's like entertaining himself right now. And the TV's not even on, so that's nice. I bought Preston all these new um, clothes. You know how I wear figs every day? Basically the same fig, but a different color. <laughs> that's what we're doing with Preston. So I just bought all this stuff on Target. It's um, Cat and Jack. I actually really love their stuff so cute and like I bought the same hoodie but in different colors and same pant in different colors and um, that way we don't have to think that much in the morning and he likes wearing the same like certain things if you put it on him he gets really mad like he'll start yelling and I don't know why it's like certain colors he doesn't like but all this stuff he has some version of and he wears it so you can just grab it and go but um, you guys might think this is like crazy because he already has clothes, but between packing extra clothes for daycare and packing extra clothes for his school program, there's actually like not a lot of clothes left for home. So I bought all this stuff. If you're a mom, you know, you have to label everything. So that's what I'm gonna do today is I just took off all the tags and I'm gonna label everything and then we're gonna run the wash. I don't even think you're gonna see the stamp in this one. Yeah. 
don't even see it. All right. All right, let's go wash everything. I'm acting like this because I had a really rough, rough week. My front desk was out and I had like some tough patients. Been go, go, go this week, so I'm a little tired. We're doing good, you know, like some of those things like you do well, but it always comes at a cost because, uh, and it doesn't have to, but you know, when the, the snowball starts going and you do like really good, then you don't know how to press the stop button as well. It's like it gets harder and harder because your ambition starts to become sort of like a monster. Anyways, I gotta focus on my baby and his clothes right now. <laughs> Bye. Okay, it's day three of doing Pilates. So I'm trying to do two, two a week. So this is my second one for this week. I think I'm gonna do, it's called New Year Challenge Day One. Guys, hey, it's Tuesday. I just finished work. We cemented 10 veneers today and I am white. So I have been trying to set aside time to work out. I wanted to do it in the mornings starting in after I got my Pilates machine, but because now Preston has a different situation, it's too stressful like for me, too much stress in the morning to work out and feed him and go to work and do the Instagram and all that. So I just decided I'm going to be doing it Tuesday afternoon after work. I'm finishing a little early on Tuesdays and normally I would be doing social media in the afternoon with whatever time I have left. But I decided we're doing Pilates Tuesday afternoons. And so I have been on track with my two Pilates sessions per week. I'm proud about that and now only realizing that it's actually not that much. <laughs> I do think I could get a good workout from doing Pilates on this little machine thing. I just need to like push myself. So this is officially, I think, day four of using this machine. Let's find a class. I like this girl, Heather Perrin. I like her classes. I'm not really enjoying this class. Good morning. Ooh. That's how I feel though. It's rough. Preston! Hi. Say hi. Hi. Yeah! Hi! Well, he's in a good mood this morning. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm getting to a point where one thing goes wrong it it like ruins my entire day and it even started this morning i couldn't put on a lash <laughs> and from upstairs i audibly was like f word like <laughs> byron was downstairs he's like did something happen i'm like no i just couldn't put on my lash so that's where we're at i just need to like decompress a little bit and then i'll be okay i think I'm, I don't have so much on my plate right now that I'm stressed or anything. It's the decompressing part. You're not able to decompress as much when you are a mom. You get maybe an hour before you go to sleep. It's just not enough time. Not blaming you, Mr. Cute. You are my sunshine. Anyways, today I'm also getting laser treatment for my melasma. I know you can't see it because I put some um, foundation on for my videos. That's why my hair is so oily because they put like the numbing solution all the way up until here and it gets on your hair. So I was like, okay, I probably needed to wash my hair two days ago, but I'm like, I need to wash my hair on Thursday anyway, which is today because I'm getting the laser. So I just like have been holding on and hopefully I can like style my hair so it doesn't look so oily in my videos, but that's what we're working with. And uh, yeah, anyways, 
that's all for now. Hi, I just got my laser done. This is my third session of Moxie laser for my melasma. And I'm quite red, but um, it'll get better. I do have a girls night out on Saturday. I hope I don't look like this, but if I do, it's fine. I think you can put on makeup like the next day, so it's fine. I did go to Preston's school to pick him up and people were looking at me like, what happened to her face? But nobody said anything because it's not nice to mention that people look like tomatoes. Time to get Preston some food. Time to eat some dinner. That's what I meant to say. What should I eat? I don't even know. <laughs> and then for Preston, I'm gonna make him this. It's good and gather stuffed mini rigatoni has hidden vegetables, so try that. I think you just microwave it, never had it. These are hit or miss, like sometimes he will sit and eat them, sometimes he won't. No meal is complete without gakdagi. Really good. I tasted one. I'm making him tater tots too, so that he has like something else to eat if he doesn't like this. So me and him are both having pasta. While that cools, I'll get started on mine. I'm like really into gaffigi. It's like one of my favorites. These are the days I'm so thankful to be Korean. I freaking love this stuff. These are very hot, so don't eat them yet. All right, that was a bust. I guess the only person eating is me. So it is Tuesday night. I got a little treatment today. It's called Skin Vive, but um, I don't know if you can see my face. Maybe this isn't the best lighting. But it's it's like um it's an injection. So they put like a million little needles in here one at a time and they inject. It's like a filler, but it doesn't plump your face like a filler normally does. It actually just brings a lot of hydration to the skin. So they just did that today. I'm really on a skincare journey these days because I have been trying to wear less makeup. I've just been like sporting my face. I also want to get rid of all this melasma. So I've been really trying with the skin stuff and feel like it's looking a lot better, like the melasma's lifting. And I have one more Moxie treatment left. And so hopefully it goes. I did get a prescription for tranexamic acid. Um, I just have to go pick it up. So that's like oral, like you have to take it and it's supposed to like help with the pigmentation. Today, Preston, I mean, I have been struggle bussing. I have felt like I am going to just break in half and crack. And it's because, not because of work. Work is great, actually. <laughs> it's Preston. Preston has been crying his little butt off every single morning, every single night when I pick him up from daycare, like tantruming. <laughs> Basically, he cries up until the point where he calms down. We have some alone time. We like hug and cuddle and then he'll calm down. Then Byron comes home, so he gets like the happy version of Preston. He actually doesn't act that bad with Preston. He only acts that bad with me, but it's wearing me down. Like I felt like very low. I did want to mention he got, so in the past like couple weeks, he has a new school. That teacher has been amazing. He loves her when he sees her. He just runs up to her and he hugs her. Super affectionate towards her. Like she's so awesome. He's still at daycare half, half the day and he just got his therapist. It's an ABA therapist for daycare and they just came today for the first time. The person at the daycare 
was like he did really good with her she works very well with him and he was very responsive to her and so that uh, made me so happy you guys have no idea since i brought him home he hasn't been crying like he normally does look we're eating pizza and grapes like he's been actually really communicative he said pizza for dinner he usually doesn't tell me what he wants to eat and so i made him pizza and he wanted grapes so i got him grapes it's like so much easier when kids can tell you what they want to eat and he's been saying like these little words which is a huge huge progress and it just makes me feel like when he has the proper support he is a lot better like his mood and everything it almost makes me feel like he hasn't been stimulated enough to this point to really grow into himself that's how i um like obviously i'm i have no idea i feel like he's stimulated a lot more these days and it's showing and he's he likes it so today is the first day that he has not cried or had a tantrum like actually he did have a tantrum but he like pulled himself together like a big boy and didn't develop into a full-blown tantrum and i am drinking my wine now because i'm so happy because i have literally felt like i was going to crack you know the thing is like when you're a mom you want your kid to be happy and he's finally happy smiling in a good mood and he has not been and i think that's the hardest part it's like you're like what what why is he not happy? Like, you just kill yourself about it. <sighs> anyway, so this is all good news. <laughs> I know I'm being so dramatic, but you've, you guys have no idea how I've been feeling these last couple of weeks. I feel like there is hope that this is not gonna be happening for the rest of my life. I mean, I knew that it was not gonna be happening for the rest of my life, but still, I, I just needed this one night of a break from all the crying and tantruming. If he goes back to crying and tantruming tomorrow, that's fine, at least I had tonight. It's, an, it's enough to get me going for another couple weeks. I've been very creatively dumped because of everything that's been going on with Preston. And it's funny, I had s such high lofty goals coming into this year and kind of derailed from that because I'm so like, not worried about Preston, but I'm like managing my own emotions with Preston's emotions. And also trying to make sure that I'm making the best decisions for him. You know, we moved him to another Thing. put him in a school bus every day like it's a lot of stuff so we are trying our best to give him all the help he needs now i need help <laughs> byron i need help byron's not here but byron is starting to watch the baby on wednesday mornings so that will be a lot of help for me because i usually do it all myself and i think that's also just been wearing me down but now i have a little bit more help and that will be great He's happy right now, aren't you? My three-year-old. My three-year-old. Happy? Happy? <laughs> He's happy. I'm happy. You're happy. <laughs> you were such a ham. <laughs> Why are you being such a ham, hmm? <laughs> oh. Hi Preston. Hi. Hi. Bye bye. Bye bye. 